Hey folks, today I've been testing out the Power Cover 2 for the Surface Pro. I gotta say I was very pleased and happy that I received this this keyboard. I've been hunting it down for approximately almost a month. Everywhere I've been, sold out, sold out, sold out. So I ended up when I went back to Toronto, well, Mississauga area, I went to the Microsoft store and they have a few in stock. So I made sure I grabbed that as quickly as possible. And I gotta say, I really love the design and it feels very, very nice. Sadly, there's no um, backlight, so if anybody who's expecting backlight on this power cover, I'm sad. It connects very firmly to the Surface Pro 2. I have no trouble so far with it. I've been able to maneuver it just as quickly as I would able to on my original laptop. And with this now, I'm able to do work even twice more efficiently. A GameCube emulator. This was a request by Jason. He was requesting that I showed him that. Let me see if I can get this as beer with me. Show him that this Surface Pro 2 can run the emulator. I guess he just wanted the. Whoop. Oh my god, I'm really messing up here. Ah, full screen. First off, I'm going to try the power cover here as a controller. If not, I'll resort to the usual mini keypad that I have. Keyboard, sorry. Let me give you a nice zoom in. Okay, let's get this rolling. Whoop. As you can see, it's pretty f damn fast. And when I'm playing Mario Kart, I love to use the babies because of their little special ball and chain attack. I have other games that I'll be testing out as well. Just bear with me. This is just a small little demo of what this is capable of. Oh. As you can see, the game runs extremely smooth. No lag, slowdown whatsoever. Let me see if I can get this guy. Oh crap, nice height. Okay, enough of this. I'm gonna use this instead. Oh, I'm gonna be losing. Second place, not bad. Ah, got hit by up. Nice, real nice. Still in first place, it's all good. Anyway, I'll cancel this game and I show you something else that is more power intensive. Cancel, 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 cancel. Okay, let's try. Hmm, let's try a Zelda game. Those of you who are just joining, this is running GameCube slash Wii emulator on the Surface Pro 2. Ah, oh, crap. I could have sworn I had a save file going on, but whatever. I'm just going to be skipping the intro after it presents itself here. Okay, I need to skip this. See right here, no lag, slow down whatsoever. I only played this for like five minutes or so before I stopped and moved on to something else.
Okay, I think I'm going the wrong way. I've messed around with the graphics performance on this. I got it up to, I think, two or three times anti-alias. And it runs fine depending on the game. If it's something as weak as Mario, it'll run fine. But something as Link, it might chug a bit, so normal setting might be your best option here. Okay, let's move on to something else. As you can see, even with the water running in the background, the foreground, horse, and everything, no lag. Let me run something else. Let's see, this is one of my favorite, favorite game with Nintendo. Well, the original, the N64 version. I still like this one a lot. Okay, let's give this a shot. The character who I love a lot is Fox and Samus, even Luigi, but I'll stick to Samus to be safe for the time being. Just gotta give me a give me a few seconds here. Oh crap. Yeah, I have not fully mapped the button for this yet. A win, baby. I guess not. Uh, Okay, I'm getting used to it. What the heck was that lag? Okay. You know what? I just remember I have a 3D program Maya running in the background. So, if there's any lag, it's because I'm running a 3D software in the background as well, just playing this game. So, don't get discouraged. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting too addicted to this game now. And I hope I don't play this too much when I'm at work. I might get fired. But I get fired for a good reason. I'm just kidding. I survived? She survived? And game's us. Okay, and this is foolproof that the game runs very smoothly on Surface Pro 2. If you guys have any questions or anything that you want me to try out, depending on how complex it is, I might give it a shot. Apart from that, no. Oh yes, there's one more game that I really, really love. And thank you, Jason, for letting me... Give me a heads up on, oh crap, did I lose it? On the emulator for the Wii, cause I, this game I've been looking for for a long time. Come on. Okay, I gotta use the keyboard here. Whoops, where is the game? Oh, good God. Okay, there it is. I have it on my desktop. Sure, a lot of you guys know this game. I've been dying for this game to be on PlayStation 2 or PS3, whichever, badly, but ah, the company didn't do it. But yes, again, I gotta say thank you, Jason. I'm gonna enjoy playing this.
This is Ikaruga. This game is very deep and complex. Very fun. Get a better zoom in so you can have a better feel. Oh crap, yeah. You guys gotta f forgive my clumsiness here. Like I said, I need to remap this button on this control. And you can beef up the graphics on this to look extremely beautiful. With anti-alias and everything, it'll look really, really, really nice. Yeah. And that concludes my demonstration of the Wii slash GameCube emulator. And again, been using this power cover keyboard. And just like they said, it increased the battery life 70% or even more depending on your usage. I've been using it uh, four hours straight and it keeps still reminding me that I have two hours left. So you using 3D software, I get, I can get maybe approximately six hours or more, depending on um, how heavy you use it and also it depends on the brightness. Right now I'm just giving you guys a snapshot here to see how good the game look. And that blurriness you're seeing in the video that's all due to my um, my recording, my Sony Cybershot. For some reason when I check the video, it's having that little distortion going on. So this is not, this is not on the Surface Pro 2. This is all due to my um, my recording camera. So anything you see blurriness going on there when you're watching my video, again, this is all due to the um, the camera itself and not the Surface Pro 2. If you guys like this video and you think it was very useful, thumbs up and like and even share if anyone needs to have any information about this product. And uh, subscribe if you like more stuff to come.